Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Gary McCord for EA Sports, welcoming you to the beautiful Pebble Beach Golf Links. David Faraday is on the course with us today and will be following the players. Let's send it down to the first tee. This looks good, should be safely on the green. This putt for birdie. From this distance, you need a little bit of luck to make it. Short par five during resort play. If you find the fairway long off the tee, you might be able to reach this green in two. But another option is to lay up short of the deep bunker or barranca that's hidden about 75 yards short of this green. David Faraday. Okay, need a good solid shot here. 190 yards left the hole. Cool has to be worth a trophy ball. It's trophy ball time. Two under for the first time. Your first eagle. A slight draw around the corner of this dog leg left leaves you in perfect position for a short pitch to the green. If you play it safe to the far right of the barranca, be prepared to contend with the bunkers flanking the right side of the green. That's just incredible! Seems like a makeable putt here. A long iron or a three wood to carry the long bunker in the center of this fairway is your best bet on this short uphill par four. This green is tightly guarded with a cluster of menacing bunkers and it's sloped decidedly from back to front. Leave it below the hole here with your second shot and par is an excellent score here at the fourth.
Beautiful shot. This for four straight birdies. Open for play in January of 1999, this spectacular new addition is sure to test your mettle. Designed by Jack Nicklaus, this beautiful par 3 sits naturally upon the bluffs overlooking Stillwater Cove. The safest play is to the left center of this green. This for five in a row. Right into the hole, broke properly. The best spot to put your tee shot here on this par five is the left center of the fairway. Your second shot is blind up the steep slope, so watch out for the two long bunkers on the left side of the landing area. There is a signature cypress tree right behind the green, and it's a good target to aim your second shot. Look on the bright side. We have ways to improve your power. This one split the fairway. It's a beauty. Nearly 210 yards from here to the hole. You called that right, Gary. The birdies are flying all over the place today. That's six in a row and definitely worth a trophy ball. There's no words that can describe the seventh at Pebble Beach, the shortest and possibly the most beautiful hole in championship golf. Knock down a short iron and keep the ball from ballooning up in the breeze. Take a moment to soak in the beauty of your surroundings. Nothing wrong with that swing. This will be a good test of the long range public skills. Made it! It's absolutely crucial to find the fairway with what probably will be three wood or two iron hit blind from the tee. Unfortunately, however, there's not much fairway to find. Those who hit safely will face a middle iron over the waves. Those who don't probably will play for bogey. Taking a chance here with the two iron.
David, what do you see? At about 200 yards, we're getting to where this is, uh, like, really easy to miss the green. handles this lie. This would be an amazing eight straight birdies. The ninth at Pebble Beach might be the toughest hole in the golf course. Take aim at the left center of the fairway, hit it long and look out for that bunker on the left. Side hill lies of the norm here for long iron second shots, so beware of the ocean on the right. There's a deep bunkered gully left and short that'll punish any kind of a limp or timid approach. Bringing out a nine iron. This for a ninth consecutive birdie. A strong tee shot to the left half of this fairway will leave you with a medium iron shot. Take enough club on your approach to carry the inlet on the right. Watch out for bunkers left and long because they will capture any kind of errant shot. The green slopes toward the ocean from left to right. Looks to be about 140 yards to the pin, don't you think? Sounds about right to me. <laughs> this attempt for a 10th straight birdie. shot must be hit blind to a landing area that is only 28 yards wide. On the approach, only the front left of the green is visible. The green slopes severely from back to front. A chip or even putt could easily run right off the putting surface.
this for 11 birdies in a row. Rolls in the birdie putt. The staggered bunkers in front of the 12th green give a false perspective of this long par three. Club selection is key in approaching this wide but shallow green. Check the wind by looking back at the flag on 11. The wind above the trees, undetectable by eyeing the flagstick, may alter your shot. With a little spin, could be a great shot. Too bad you just don't have the skill. This shot should find the green. This one's miles from the cup. I wouldn't bet on it dropping. Oh my goodness, it went in the hole! That was your 12th birdie of the day, and for that, we present you with the Birdie Buster Trophy Ball. Thirteenth of Pebble Beach is an uphill par four that plays a lot longer than the yardage. You have to line up on the right edge of the fairway bunker here and try and hit some kind of a draw to get it as far up this fairway as possible. It's an uphill approach shot, and it usually calls for an extra club. Hit it to the right of the flag, it should break down to the left. This isn't out of your range. You can do it. This dogleg right par five is usually a three shotter for most people. A well placed bunker on the right will capture any kind of a cut tee shot and you have to hit as much club as possible on the second shot so that you leave yourself a shorter shot into this very severe little par 5 green. This isn't a walk in the park here, dude. You're right about that, Gary. About 280 to the flag? Nightmare. This would be 14 birdies in a row. That's no.
This medium length par 4 sets up perfectly for an accurate tee shot. A well placed drive in the centre of the fairway will leave you with a medium to short iron from the downslope. He's got to be pleased by this. Can you believe it? This would be 15 straight birdies. That's a birdie. Aim directly over this island bunker with a three wood or long iron. Don't try to cut the dog leg here. The right side is really dangerous. Hit your approach shot to the right side of the green, just like you did on 13, as all these balls will break to the left. Hit this fairway and you'll get a handsome reward. How does it look to you, David? About a hundred yards to the flag. Should be safely on the green. This for 16 straight birdies. The 17th at Pebble Beach has been the site of some of the most amazing shots in championship golf. When it's your turn to try this masterpiece, be sure to check the pin and the wind conditions. And be mindful of the ocean to the left, it's the largest lateral water hazard in the world. Can you believe this would be 17 birdies in a row? Perhaps the most famous finishing hole in all of golf. Set up for three shots in this hole and enjoy the walk. The best tee shot is to the left of the trees in the centre of the fairway and the second shot is ideally placed on the left side of the fairway to avoid the huge tree that overhangs the green. Your short iron into this green must carry the front bunker and finally, as usual, putts will tend to break towards the sea. A birdie here and you'll set the record for most birdies in a round. on target today, hitting every fairway. Did you realize that you just hit every fairway this round? 
in case you didn't, let me remind you by handing you a trophy ball. All set to give this one a whack, and it's for Eagle. He just won the breeze today. Nice game. He just won the trophy ball. Nice goal. Another trophy ball for you to admire. Well, would you look at that? Here's a trophy ball for you.